Oftentimes, fraud examinations have a life of their own. I have worked cases that were pretty simple to investigate and our suspect was clearly committing fraudulent activity. I have worked others where it has taken months to years to investigate and at the end of the investigation, the suspect may have done nothing wrong or law enforcement and the legal system conducted their due process and prosecuted our suspect. Every case is different and needs to be treated as such. It is not a fraud examiner's job to find guilt or innocence in an investigation. The fraud examiner is going to investigate the evidence and determine if there are areas where fraud may or may not be occurring. From there, that evidence may lead to a suspect that may or may not be committing a fraudulent act. Once that is determined, the fraud examiner will take that information to the appropriate authorities and from there assist those authorities if requested in their investigation or prosecution. The fraud examiner may also be required to testify in court on their findings or serve as an expert witness for one or both parties.